Step 1. Remove all items from shipping carton. Two people are required to remove the main body of the scooter from the shipping container. Step 2. Verify that all parts are present. Step 3. Unlock the steering tiller by turning the tiller locking knob counterclockwise. Step 4. Lift up the tiller handle to its full up position and lock it in place by turning the locking knob clockwise. Step 5. The scooter is shipped with a plastic film between the battery case and the contacts on the scooter. Remove the battery case by lifting straight up. Remove the plastic film and discard. When returning the battery box to the scooter, be sure the arrow on top of the box is pointed forward. Step 6. Remove the shipping cap from the seat post and discard. Step 7. Insert the seat post into the seat column. Lift up on the seat swivel release handle as the seat is being lowered to ensure that it is fully seated in the seat column. Step 8. Install the basket on the basket bracket located on the front of the tiller. Step 9. Before the initial use of the scooter, the batteries should be charged. The batteries can be either charged through the tiller or the battery box. To charge through the tiller, verify that the scooter is turned off and then slide the charger port cover away from the charger port. Step 10. Follow the directions that came with the charger as to hooking up the charger. The charger plug is inserted into the charger port. When the batteries are fully charged, disconnect the charger to use the scooter. Step 11. The batteries can be also charged through a charging port on the battery box. Remove the battery box. See Step 5. The battery should be charged after each day's use. The charger can be left on overnight. If the scooter will not be used for an extended period of time, it should be charged every week. Do not leave the charger on for more than 24 hours. Step 12. Before the first use, the tiller and seat height should be adjusted to a comfortable position. The seat height is adjusted by raising and lowering the seat column. To adjust the seat height, remove the seat. Remove the locking pin and move the seat column to the desired height. Insert the locking pin and install the seat. Make sure the locking pin safety is properly seated. Step 13. The setting of the tiller angle to a comfortable position is done by sitting in the chair after the chair has been set to a comfortable height. Unlock the steering tiller by turning the tiller locking knob counterclockwise. Move the tiller up or down to a comfortable location and tighten the tiller locking knob. Step 14. To make getting onto and off of the scooter easier, the seat can be swiveled by pulling up on the seat locking lever and turning the seat. Any time getting on or off of the scooter, be sure that the scooter is turned off. Step 15. To operate the scooter, use the key to turn the scooter on. The power indicator light will come on and the power gauge needle will move to the right to indicate how much of a charge the battery has. Operating the scooter when the needle is in the red will shorten the battery life. When the needle is in the orange, the scooter should be charged as soon as possible. Set the speed control to the center position for the first use and adjust as needed. To go forward, the right side of the throttle lever is pulled back. The further the lever is pulled back, the faster the scooter will go. To go in reverse, the left throttle level is pulled back. To turn on the headlight, push the headlight button switch. To sound the horn, push in the horn switch.